guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I'm actually starting this out on a Sunday because we have a little work event, if you will. As y'all know, last week I was in a really bad funk and I was trying to get out of it and I'm not fully out of it. But I, I feel better, I do feel better, okay? So this week we're gonna focus on like goals and routines and like sauna stuff and just like wellness, whatever. But anyways, uh, we are heading over to Shine Hot Pilates right now, which is where I take Hot Pilates in Dallas. You guys can use code Join Kenzie for your first class free. The Okind is hosting a class. I have my coffee. Jess has the stuff in her car, and then we're gonna set up. I'm excited. Tonight we have the Noah Khan concert, which was actually my birthday gift to Jess. So her birthday was in the, not even a month ago, actually. It kind of worked out perfectly. Looks fabulous, guys. Look at how cute. Hi guys, it is me later. I have a Starbucks tea from earlier. The class went really well. It was super fun. If you guys ever go to Shine, take from Rachel S. Anyways, tonight we're going to the Noah Khan concert. Stick season, if y'all are unfamiliar. We love him and he's like just his favorite artist right now. So I surprised her for her birthday and I got her these tickets and now we're going today. I'm gonna try again. I really don't feel like putting makeup on. It's like 30 degrees out. I'm just cold. I actually am in the mood. I was scared because like Sunday nights I have like no energy. And I was scared that I was going to be too tired. But I came back to life after my Hot Pilates class and suddenly I could think again. Last week not a single thought went through my head. This week I'm doing good. It's, it's doing a lot better. So I tried the makeup by Mario. Also I need, I'm the palest I've been in so long. I tried the makeup by Mario foundation the other day and it like kind of stung on my face. But I don't know, maybe that was for my primer. I'm not really sure. I'm going to do like very, very minimal makeup. I'm gonna meet Jess at dinner in, I think, like an hour. So, gotta get ready. I was just getting some stuff done. It was a bit of a productive Sunday. I know, I, I feel like I'm only saying this because I go through, like, phases, but I, I don't know how much longer I can hang with going out. Like, I'm just tired. At the end of the day, I am just tired. I wonder if I do this. I've never done that before with foundation, and I see people do it. Anyways, I'm just craving, and again, it's probably the time of year. And I will probably, like, go back to loving going out. And I do love going out. Like, I love a good night out. I really do love drinking. Like, I really do like going out. But I'm just, like, I'm kind of over it right now. Like, I would much rather be at home doing, like, book club or, like, a dinner party or something. But it does suck when you're this age because, like, most of my friends just want to be out all the time. I found at different points in my life, it is, like, really draining. And I'm like, I just, I have no interest in this right now. But, like, I haven't felt that way in a long time. And I think it's not draining for me because I go out with, like, my favorite people in the world. So, I do love it. And, again, sometimes I really do love it. Like, last weekend we had the best time. Maybe I just overdid it. I don't know. But, like, I just want to be at home cozy, like, on land. We went horseback riding yesterday so we went out to the ranch and I was like I just want to be on a ranch all the time and like eating there and like having a cozy night in like that's what I want at this point maybe I'm just tired and maybe I mean I know that I will be like just kidding I want to go out but I think I just want like a nice like balance of the two and like I know I'm 25 turning 26 this year which is crazy I've been doing YouTube since I was 16 years old so that will really officially be a decade which is really wild but yeah, I'm just I'm just tired. So my goals for this week um, I want to do like a Basically like a morning routine TikTok every single day, which like maybe sounds stupid But it like holds me accountable to like really getting up before my workout and like actually getting everything done And if I'm filming it, I will do it. So I'm doing like timestamp morning routines or whatever Every day I booked all my workouts. I've been really good about working out lately I mean, I'm always good about working out lately because I just love it, but I've been home, so I've been able to, like, really be in my routine, and I just feel better. I'm leaving Friday for Los Angeles. I originally was just going to fly in Sunday for a few days for work, but one of my best friends, Ryan, um, I wanted to, like, hang out with him and see him, so I'm going a little bit earlier. I'm going to get everything done for, like, my Valentine's Day event that I'm hosting at February 9th that's benefiting the family place. Pretty much everything's done, but I just, like, haven't been able to send out invites yet just because... It was like a little bit too soon. My house is like probably the messiest it's been. Well, it's not like that messy. I'm really honestly a clean freak, but it just needs to be clean. So tomorrow 
it will be spotless don't even worry and then I also want to give myself tomorrow to just be like chill in the afternoon night evening because we have a lot of work events like coming up like Tuesday night we have a little pop up and then we just have a lot of stuff going and I'm gonna be out of town so I need my time to chill you know I personally have been loving the long vlogs I think that my videos are just better there's more stuff in it and it's just like I love a good long vlog I know most of y'all do that's like my overwhelming response normally on YouTube so I have just been liking the one upload a week I feel like I have more to say and like catch up on and it's not rushed and I don't know I like it because my YouTube channel is really like my life and just like sharing with you guys and I am not I don't know like I just feel like it works better that way it's hard for me to like come up with things that I don't feel like are true or authentic to myself if that makes any sense just for content so personally I love the long vlogs and then I've just been posting a ton of like TikToks and stuff and then obviously every single week we have a podcast episode a new podcast episode five a month actually bonus one every first Monday of the month um, so if you guys want another YouTube video, don't worry because the podcast is like a vlog cast. Is that what they say? I don't know. You can watch them all the podcast episodes on YouTube. So if you want another long video, just head on over to the um, YouTube channel. I will have that linked below. Um, I want us to get to 5,000 subscribers. That's the goal. I'll be giving away a Kindle to everyone on this video who goes and subscribes to the um podcast youtube channel all you have to do is comment below so to enter go subscribe to the podcast youtube channel and comment on this video solo podcast request um as well as like i'm entering the giveaway and i will pick the winner a week from today when this video goes up anyways this thrive cosmetics mascara is like unbelievable it is so good i've never had a mascara this good ever i am really in my pale era right now so I'm gonna wear jeans, a turtleneck, and like everything to cover my body because it's not gonna match my face, which is fine, but perfect. Best setting spray ever. Love it. Good morning guys, it looks like I have a pillar on my head. Okay, honestly, so be it. I have my athletic greens, I'm doing my morning routine. Getting back in it, I'm so sore from Pilates yesterday. I'm gonna do the Daily Stoic, I'm gonna do morning pages, and then I will, I'm pretty much out of this one I think, I need a new one. Um, and then, I'm going to work out. After that, I'm going to go to do some red light therapy and cryo. And then today is going to be a pretty chill, like, work from home cozy day. I want to um, give myself, like, at least, like, the afternoon off to just read and chill, as we discussed yesterday. So, oh, Noah Khan last night was amazing. It was, like, one of the best shows I've been to in so long. He is just so funny and so talented, and it was, like, everything. So, if you guys can go to the show, you need to go. It was really, really good. I'm also going to self-tan today, and that in itself is going to be changing my life, you know? Not to, like, be annoying and talk about the weather, but it is so cold. It is 26 degrees right now, and the high, like, all week is, like, 31 or something. Wow, it is freezing. Never a better time to have an O-Kind scarf, but I, of course, still got iced coffee. I'm at my workout, like, 30 minutes early. So I actually, that's great because I need to edit TikToks and like reply to emails and stuff. This is like my me time, truly, you know? I wanted to do the sauna today, but the sauna was booked. So I'm gonna do red light therapy and then I'm gonna do cryo, but maybe the sauna will be open and they will cancel. We'll see. I would love to do the sauna, it's so cold. Red light therapy. 
Okay, it is crazy how much I already feel better just from the past like 24 hours. This wellness stuff, it really works. So does working out. Something about like a really hot, hard workout too. I feel like I'm just like working out my problems or like my anxiety more so. I don't know how to describe it. But today I did weightlifting and then I went to Restore, which is in the West Village if y'all are in Dallas, but they have locations like everywhere. Um, and I normally do infrared sauna and then cryo, but I did cryo and red light therapy today because the sauna was booked. And I just feel so good. I've had so many good ideas. You know when I said there was not a thought that came through my head last week? Well, lots of thoughts are coming. I have a lot of inspiration today. I really want to take the whole day off. Um, but now I have all these ideas. So I'm just going to cozy up and get some work done. It's supposed to freeze though. We're supposed to have a pop-up at Leela's tomorrow. And if it freezes, that's not happening because no one will come. So we'll, it, it will just also need to be canceled anyway. So we'll see. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Maybe it can freeze like Wednesday, you know? Not tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a pop-up. We have things to do. But I've had a lot of good ideas. Um, just for like the charity stuff that I'm doing and then the oh kind and I'm just like, you know, I'm back and I'm better I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna self tan and I'm gonna be a new woman and guess what I'm gonna make today bone broth beef stew I know you guys are shocked seeing as how I've made it every single week um, This year actually even though I started in December. So for the past like six weeks. It's literally the best thing ever It's so good and it's just the best thing in cold weather and it is have ready Oh my god, I love bone broth, and so any meal with bone broth. And I also want to go through a, so this is becoming a new thing, I'm like a real <sighs> chef. No, just kidding. That's disrespectful to the chef community. My cooking teacher told me. Uh, my, he's a chef. I am a real, I don't know. I like to cook. Anyways, I really like Max. I don't know how to say his last name. He's like, that, he's like a health guy. I really like his cookbook because the food is like, all the recipes I've tried are so good. And I want to try something new for breakfast, like a nice meal prep. I don't want to keep having egg bites every morning for breakfast on the way to a workout. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't even know if those are, like, good or bad for you. That's not really what I care about. It's just, like, I'm over the food. So I need to find something else, and I like Max's cookbook. So we will be finding a new breakfast today. Guys, I am dying right now. So when I started this vlog off this week, I said, we're getting back into our routines. We're doing a bunch, you know, meditations, saunas, all that stuff. Well, I'm on day two of being snowed in, if you will. I'm just kidding. For everyone who like lives in the north, please still don't hate me. Please love me. Please love me. I'm making my coffee. But basically, once a year, Texas gets these ice storms. Keep in mind, my family is originally from the Midwest. They're from St. Louis. So my parents used to be like, what? But the roads are not built for this, and it's really dangerous, and it ends up a lot of really, really bad things happen. You guys have seen the news in the past couple of years. Anyways, um, I had all my workouts planned. I had everything good to go this week. For some reason, I had ordered groceries Monday, like being like, oh, it's supposed to freeze tonight. We'll see. Because they always say it's going to freeze, okay? And then it doesn't. Um, and no, it froze. All my workouts got canceled yesterday. All my stuff got canceled today. Um, I basically just sat around yesterday. I watched that new movie, um, You People. Dom told me to watch it. And if you guys know uh, me and Dom, we always argue because I don't watch movies. And I watched it and it was actually really good. I watched the Pamela doc. I read an entire book. I read, let's see what I read actually. My goal is to read another book today. And then also I have a lot of work to get done. So we're gonna do that later. But I've been loving these slow mornings, okay? Okay. I read All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham, which was good. Like, her other book, A Flicker in the Dark, was one of, like, the, my favorite thrillers. It was so good. Um, All the Dangerous Things was, like, fine. I rated it, like, a 3.8. It was good. I don't know. Also, the tier system of ratings, it's, like, what even is a five-star book to me? I don't know. It's really about how the book makes me feel and how much I like it. That's kind of, I think, what I rated on. Not how much I like it, but how much I, like, am invested in it. Does that make any sense? So anyways, today is going to be a little more productive this afternoon. I didn't vlog it all yesterday because it was just a really cozy day. Um, and then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be back to business. And I leave for LA on Friday, so I will be prepping for that. Um, I miss my workouts. But it's okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get through this together, you know? Guys, so I was thinking, oh, you know what? It's fine. A couple of chill days in the house. Texas seems to be like doing better than it has in the recent 
years because like a couple years ago two years ago it was like really scary even last year i don't know i'm not i'm at least not seeing things okay so i'm like tomorrow i can't wait i'll go back to my life back to my workouts i have a bunch of appointments and just things i need to get done before i go to la on friday and i just got a call that my blowout tomorrow which is like a stupid whatever thing got canceled the only reason i bring that up is because that means everything else tomorrow is probably gonna get canceled as well so um this vlog has taken quite the turn and we're gonna do a little book talk if you will um i ordered groceries monday night and i just now got a notification it's like wednesday at noon that they'll hopefully be coming and arriving someone's shopping for me so thank god i thought ahead like two weeks ago and i got a lot of frozen food because i was thinking you know a freeze is coming um anyways i'm gonna give you guys a little recap on what i read in january i just made a tiktok about it so it's top of mind been really a tiktok girly these days um, the first book I finished was City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. This follows, it's like kind of more of like a burlesque type theme, not theme. She's like, in, whatever, okay? Um, it gives major Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo vibes. It takes place in New York City. It, I don't even know how to describe it because like so much happens in it and I read it over a month ago, but I did really like it. It came very highly recommended by my mom. It's one of her favorite books and it was really good. So if you guys liked Seven Husbands of Hev Evelyn Hugo and like that vibe of someone, like an older woman telling her life story and like the ways that she like messed up and whatever, she's not like making herself look good, I would recommend that. I also read The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which obviously is like such a popular book i have never really read historical fiction and this made me realize that i would like historical fiction it follows um two sisters oh my gosh my dogs two sisters from france during world war ii and it is like a very heartbreaking book really good oh, guys let's see what this light um really good oh okay this is better Heavy at times, actually it was just a very heavy book, but I really liked it. I read The Rewind, wouldn't recommend, I'm not even gonna review it because it just like wasn't very good. I read All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham who wrote A Flicker in the Dark, which is a thriller that I really, really loved. Um, it was good, it followed, I finished it like last night, I read it in a day. It follows a story of a woman whose baby was taken from her house and just disappeared. Um, and then it picks up like a year later and there's a little bit of like a true crime podcast So I don't love when thrillers do that because I just feel like Something about like social media and books and movies to me is just really corny Um, but I didn't mind it in this one. It wasn't horrible. Um, this is a good thriller Solid not one of my favorite thrillers ever, but I've read like a hundred thrillers. So that doesn't really mean much It was definitely good. I'd recommend it um, and then I also read The It Girl by Ruth Ware, which is a very, very popular book. Um, I liked it. It wasn't anything special to me. It follows the disappearance slash murder of a girl, I'm even forgetting her name, at Oxford. And all of her college friends, and then 10 years later, and then the person that they put behind bars for the murder ends up dying of a heart attack. And then they're wondering if he was really even the one who did it, and so they're kind of like re investigating the case on their own if you will um lots of twists lots of turns i didn't necessarily see the incoming um it was good it was good i would say th that was like a 3.54 in the stacy willingham one was like a four 3.54 so they were good nothing to complain about leave your best book recs below i feel like i just need better book recs like i'm reading books that i like but not books that i'm like dying for necessarily you know so what am I going to start? Oh, for my Dallas book club, we have The Housemaid, which I've heard amazing things about. I might just start it. I've been trying to push it off, so I read it, like, right before book club, which is on the 15th. So, anyways, I'm going to go do laundry. I have lunch on the way. I have a podcast recording at, like, 3.30 for, actually, okay, sis, we're talking books. Um, and I'm just today. I was going to start packing and doing stuff, but, like, because I thought I was going to be really busy tomorrow. It's not looking like I'm going to be that busy tomorrow, so we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna switch out my spices. Little snow day activity here. I got a matching spice set. I'm going to give these, I don't know, to a family member or something. A lot of them are moving. Okay, oh, love that. That was awesome, good for me. So here we go, here's the before.
is unbelievably beautiful. So this is my Christmas gift for my mom. It's a set from the Spice House. And they have basically everything you could possibly need. But they're beautiful and matching and look amazing. I did keep like my umami seasoning that I love to use on vegetables. All my red clay stuff for drinks. I love red clay. They have amazing stuff for drinks. In my next house, whatever that ends up happening. I was just thinking about things that I want in the future in a house. I definitely really want like a bar cart but not a bar cart like i want it to be completely hidden and not like not out there like i need it to be like a cabinet that doesn't even look like a bar cart cabinet like i like the ones that almost look like dressers or just like entry pieces or something i've seen some on tv too that i like because i just have so many different like glasswares and serving things and whatever and i think that would really elevate my dinner parties i really want an infrared sauna like that is like my dream to have one in my house i would literally die i'd be so happy um, there's like other things too, but that's just what I've been thinking about the most. I need to take these dogs outside. Um, my food was supposed to be delivered two hours ago, so we'll see if I ever get that. Okay, these dogs, guys, they're playing. Don't worry. Looks at me a couple times. I'm Simon's like, are you? It's been three days since I left my house. Today is the day I can leave, guys, because the ice is melting. Normally. Being locked in my house for three days. Sorry that this vlog has been me right here. Um, we're about to prep for LA. Me being locked in my house and just having to read for three days is like such a dream. But I was so excited this week to like be productive <laughs> and get into my routine and all that stuff. Um, also, I would have been fine had I been able to work out, but my workouts got canceled. My one this morning even got canceled. It was the only one of the workouts that got canceled. So. I'm going to fit social spin class tonight. I think Macy's go. Actually, I think she's going. I'm like pretty sure she's going. I just made some iced coffee. I slept on the couch just to spice things up. I watched the Steamy Awards last night with H3. Something about me that you probably wouldn't know is that like I actually really like that side of the internet. Like I think it's funny. Um, anyways, today I'm about to do laundry and then start packing. And I'm going to LA tomorrow. I do have a facial later today. I don't know if that's still happening. And then I have spin class. I need a tan. And yeah, we're just we're getting it together. We're prepping for Los Angeles. Jessica Simpson released a new like book, but it's an essay. She has to deal with Amazon. So she's released since her memoir open book, which is the best memoir ever. You need to read it. Since that memoir, she's released um I think like two essays, so it's like 28 pages. And, like, I liked it just because, like, I would do anything to have more of Jessica Simpson open book. Like, that's how I felt about it starts with us, too. Like, I just want more of it. But, like, there was no point to it. Like, I, like she told the story, and there wasn't, like, a conclusion. There wasn't, like, this is what I learned from it. I mean, she did say that during the time. There wasn't even, like, a crazy ending. If any of you guys read it, please, actually, just please read it and let me know who you think the movie star guy is. It's only 28 pages, and it's on Kindle Unlimited, so it's free. Well, can a little bit of $10 a month, but you get what I'm saying. Um, and please let me know who you think the movie star was. But I would just like, I think that there just needed to be like some sort of conclusion. I'm not complaining. Here's my question. Do I add that to my Goodreads? Because it technically is a book. It's just like anything else, but it's only 28 pages. But do I add it to my Goodreads book? I already did. So I don't even know why I'm asking. Um, I feel a little bit like a fake and phony, but hey, what am I supposed to do? I, that's how Goodreads tracked it. Sue me. Sue me, okay? In case you guys are worried about my outfit, don't worry, it just gets worse. I used to have pink socks on, but I hit them off. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. I really don't.
right, so most of my stuff is packed. Packing for LA is really pretty easy. I mean, I, for some reason, I've forgotten every single outfit, like how to wear an actual outfit. So I'm not thrilled by these. Um, however, it's easy because at least I'm at Dom. So it's like, I know she has cowboy boots and stuff that I can wear and whatever. Fitz has just been hugging me nonstop. So sweet. So anyways, have that pretty much done. I leave early tomorrow. Well, I will work out at like six and then I come home and then I leave for the airport. By the way, I haven't packed my carry-on, but this carry-on, the Luca duffel from Calpac, I'll link it below, is the best carry-on ever. It fits so much, but it's not super heavy on your arm. And it is just like literally the best. All right guys, I'm recording a book club or a book episode for OK Sis. Finally today, we've rescheduled it like 14 times. It's finally happening. I have something to do with other people. It's amazing. Guys, we need to chat because I've officially, officially, officially exited my flop week, okay? My weird funk that I've been in, that I've been nonstop talking about, and just this weird week as a whole. Because, well, I just got flower child. I'm going to my workout in like 30 minutes, but I'm picking up Macy, so I have to go early. Anyways, I have the best news ever. I somehow just got Taylor Swift the era tour tickets for me and Lauren at a decent price. Like the person who bought them didn't even like upcharge us. It was like one of y'all's moms. Thank you so much. She could have made a lot of money off of that, but instead out of the kindness of her own heart, she gave us a good price. She sold them to us for basically, I think what exactly what you paid for. Um, and even if it was more, I don't care because it wasn't a million dollars. And I am, I cannot even describe to you how happy I am, how excited I am, how, oh my God. Like I, I can, I'm just, I don't even know what to do with myself. I, I really don't know what to do with myself because I'm so happy. Thank God I'm going to work out because I really got to work all out this energy that now I will be at this tour. And I've been worried about it. I've been thinking about it lately. And I even thought in my head, I let doubt creep in for a second. I thought, oh, maybe I, this is the first tour that I miss. Maybe I don't go. Maybe I can't go. And maybe that's it. And it worked out for me. So honestly, guys, post on your Instagram story that you need to buy tickets because that's how I got it. Um, and you never know. Like, obviously, I know that I have a following on Instagram, but listen, you never know what can happen, okay? And that was just such a beautiful act. If I have built this entire career for this one moment to um, get Taylor Swift tickets from someone who follows me on Instagram, then so be it. Because I am just, that's worth it to me. It really is worth it to me. So anyways, I'm gonna eat my food. I'm gonna just sit to listen to a pod. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Sit and listen to a podcast. But I just, I wanted to let you guys know that this vlog, it isn't just boring. It isn't just me stuck in my house for three days. Cause we're about to get out and I got Taylor Swift tickets. Wow. Just wow. If anyone has tickets for this April 2nd, let me know. Cause I will buy them from you. And if you try to scam me, no, don't even think about it. I won't get scammed. I know how to not get scammed. So don't even try. I didn't get sand this time. I was worried at first because it seemed a little bit too good to be true. But don't worry. Rest assured, have the tickets. Everything's good. Guys, look. It's a human. That isn't me. Hey, guys. Okay. We, Sorry. We forgot how to interact with each other. <laughs> we were, like, practicing on FaceTime like, how to talk to people yesterday. No, we actually just sat in silence for a while. Like, Yeah, I said, I don't remember how to, like, talk. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to work out today for the yeah. first time since Monday. Yeah. And you know, I worked out Monday at 6.30 a.m. So that was really early. That was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did the 9 a.m. So whatever. You know, like, that's fresh in your brain. Mm, yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but like, I realized that like, I'm not an actual workout girly in the terms of like, Ooh, I'm just like, I need it to stay sane and then Same, and that's it's really showed the past two days of being locked in the house I said that to Aaron, I was like, I really work out for mental health reasons me and, and I do mean that Because if not, yeah, you guys saw me You saw how it was You it was guys did good. see me, and that's for a reason Yeah I like, forgot what social media was I just kind of sat there Okay, <sighs> um <laughs> No, that's how I feel I washed my hair before this workout because I couldn't even dare, like I don't care if I have to wash it again tonight. I was just like, this is my first time going out. It needs to be clean. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, we're gonna go work out, guys. I can't find a hair tie. Ooh, I might have an extra one. Do you ever film your workouts? Not really, do you? I have like ones for a TikTok, but I'm gonna have to start for my new 
my my morning routine TikToks. Mm. But yeah, barely. Erin films it sometimes, so that makes me feel good. Okay, I'm giving this to you, but I need it back. It's my favorite one. Okay. Don't forget. Okay. I'm never seeing it again. No, I'm literally like looking at the camera. Don't forget. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. I'm so happy right now. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna kill Macy. I'm hiding. No, um, we, first off, I was signed up for spin class. Spin is so easy. I barely even sweat. It's the easiest I know, I just workout wanna, you can do. Okay, I just don't wanna be in like a dark room and like, that just felt like a lot of, like, um, uh, I said it was sensory overload. Yeah, so I was like, fine, I'll do the other class, which there's three classes you can take at our place and I always take intensity and then I'll do spin sometimes, normally when Macy needs me to. Like when I go with you, or we need to go to class together or something. Um, but, yeah, then we did the other one that's like more of a hit workout, which Macy swore it wasn't. And I said, as long as we're not jumping and there's no burpees. We was, jumped and did burpees. It was nothing but that. And we just kept looking at each other. And at one point I said, you're walking home. She said, I'm taking your jacket and you're walking home. So then I'm going to dangle it. I'm going to drive next to you as you're walking home. I'm going to dangle it out in the rain. So that's why I'm in my hood hiding. Yeah. But I like spin. It's just a lot of emotions that I didn't want to do right now. But that was a lot more than spin. So there. Yeah. I was wrong. All right guys, I'm making some tea back for my workout. That was way harder than I expected. We're making peppermint tea right now. This is what I grabbed from my little cabinet. Um, I'm finishing up packing this at 7.45. I'm actually going to get a bit of work done. I have a lot of episodes next week that I have been prepping as I've been home. You know, locked in my house the past couple of days, but I just want to go through and make sure I have like a better idea because a few of them are getting, a few more might be getting added last minute. So I'm just finishing up packing my carry on and whatnot. And then I'm bringing certain vitamins. I'm bringing my array vitamins. This is the calm and this is the blow. I don't normally take blow, but I'm going to take it because I'm over here this week, but calm. I need these right now. I'm afraid I'm not gonna go to sleep tonight, but I also, oh my God. Oh, I thought something was on my foot. Nothing was on my foot, okay. Um. Anyways, I went through and gave myself like a blowout. It's super, super messy. I haven't like combed through it or anything. It's like too curly, but I am wanting my hair to look good tomorrow. I have a workout at like 6 a.m. super early before I leave for my flight at like eight. So I am just trying to get Everything set and ready to go. Um, but I'm pretty much all packed and ready to be in Los Angeles. The next vlog is gonna be a lot more up and at them. We're gonna be in LA. We're gonna be with Dominique. We're gonna have a good time. And you guys are gonna enjoy it a lot more, okay? Sorry, okay, I promise. Amazing. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry about being stuck in my house for three days, but love you guys, bye. Guys, I just really, I really quickly wanted to just start off with this conversation that Connor just let me know that Mike doesn't drink. Actually, no, because this is going to make you look good because you're just going to be like, you're going to frame it as like, save the environment. Basically, of, of Connor's- course, yeah. Which, which way do you want to take this? Because I, I was willing to go there. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't drink anything out of plastic. Yeah, he refuses to drink out of plastic bottles. I, I order like these giant gallons of water that are delivered probably once a week. I order like five or six that I just drink throughout the day. So I love plastic bottles.